right. of one from 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 thirty three CE be after he before he went to heaven. Sure. So he give that and and also he give that commission to the apostle because they will stay here on earth sure. and will have that greater preaching work. To right. Do. So that's why Jesus said, "You will do the greater things because I'm be in heaven and I can do that to preach the whole earth." And you know, and that's what means. So greater in that context yeah, implied is because the they're going to be work. doing more. Yeah. Yeah. So could it be possible that when Jesus says, I go to the Father, for he's greater than I, mm -hmm. that maybe he was talking about positionally? And because remember in John 17, Jesus said in mm -hmm. verse 5, Father, glorify me mm -hmm. with the glory yeah. which I had with you before. Because All right. Be coming up and talking to maybe... Potentially a couple of Jehovah's Witnesses here. Just ask Lord, lead and guide me. Try to plant some seeds. Have a good conversation with these nice people. Let's see how it goes. Thank you all for coming to the channel. Please subscribe, like this video, and uh, pray for these people. Amen. How are you ladies? Oh, how are you Jehovah's Witnesses? Oh, are you staying warm? Oh, very nice. It is actually a very nice day out today. Yeah, you are nice correct. To have the sun, for sure. sun and then the wind is yeah. calm today. So. Yeah. Very nice. Are you from uh, Well, I live actually in the Langford area. My wife and I sometimes will go down here and go for a walk or I'll come out here and check things out. Yeah. So we like the pier. It's a nice area, right? <laughs> Yeah. These are perfect, perfect spot. Are you guys from the area? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, Sydney's a nice area. I do like it though. It is. Tried a few times to look in the area to get a place, but it's difficult sometimes, right? Oh yeah. Very yeah. So we've lived like in some Chicago and James Bay, a few nice spots too, but we're in the Langford. It's okay. It's still nice. It's everywhere's nice out here, really, right? So, yeah. In the island, it's yeah. nice. everywhere nice. you go. Yeah. 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 Can't, can't complain there, right? No. So. Cool. Yeah. Oh, what is your name? I'm Kelly. You are? Vanilda. Say it again? We're Vanilda. Vanilda. That's yeah. a nice name. Yeah. And I'm Rachel. Rachel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you both. Have you heard about yeah. Jehovah's Witnesses before? I actually have. I've talked to different witnesses before. And uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I guess you'd call me a born again person. So. Oh, so you're a Canadian. Uh, I would be more, I guess, like non-denominational, yeah. just kind of, uh, yeah, Catholics kind of get more into the Pope and yeah. Mary and other kind of things. I'm kind of, um, you know what non-denominational means? Have you heard that yeah. before? Different yes. religion, different mixing uh, together. How, how do you understand non-denominational? How would you word it? Non-denominational. Uh, it's like... No I don't know names. how to work it. Okay. <laughs> Is that no names religion? No, okay, no. so I'll try to explain sure. it the easiest way. So you got like Baptist, yes. Presbyterian, um, uh, as you mentioned, Catholic. Yeah. You've got different Protestant. types of church. Pro yes, yeah. a Protestant, kind of like Protestant, right? Mm -hmm. So when you have a church that's like non denominational, yeah. that would be kind of like what would be like so. They we're Christian. Yeah. But we don't have any like affiliation of Baptist or Presbyterian. Gotcha. We believe in the Bible, the whole Bible, just like that you guys would. Mm -hmm. um, do you believe in Trinity? Do believe in the Trinity? I know that's probably something do you, you don't. Yes, right? No, no, yeah. Because the Bible, Jesus said, Father is greater than me. He did. You are correct. John fourteen twenty eight. Yes, you are correct. So yes. that's what we. Abided, so all, yes. All yes. Oh, absolutely. Me too. I would agree. I would agree. And then, may I ask, like, so you're both witnesses? Have you both been um, only asking? Like, I've been a Christian uh, since the age of six, so I'm 52. So I, for a I was while. Baptized in 1969. Oh, that's a ways. Okay. 
How about yourself? 15. 15? How about yourself? How about you? Okay. Yeah. It's about 12. So, how do you baptize? You baptize as Catholic or you just baptize as Catholic? So, myself, um, non denominational, this, this can vary within yeah. different groups. So, that's kind of why it's called non denominational because it can be different mm -hmm. nuances, different groups. I believe in full immersion where a Catholic would be you know, oh, sprinkled and a lot of times with babies. Baby. Now, they can be adult conversions as well. Um, I believe, kind of similar to you guys, uh, yeah, we'll believer's baptism. Immersed. Believer's baptism. It's kind of like, you know, yeah. words, you got to believe first. Yes. Yeah. Then That's you what get Jesus baptized. Yeah. Right? Right. Got baptized in the river. Of right. So, 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 yeah. Um, well, that's nice. So, I guess a big thing, because kind of, you, you kind of went to the Trinity right away, so... Well, so John fourteen twenty eight is that kind of one of your verses that you would think well, we, we goes read against? The whole Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah, like Jesus said in that, I'm familiar with the verse, so I'm I'm somewhat familiar with the Bible, so I don't want to like play any games with you. I do no. know the Bible a little bit. So yeah, I think that's the verse. Do you want to open up your Bible? I guess you guys have a Bible or something, right? Yeah. That'd be cool. Just kind of maybe read it together or something yeah john 14 20, i think it says something like i go to the father yeah. uh you the won't see me greater than me and then the father, the father is greater right, right. Yeah. so which scripture do you want to show us well it would be the same one i'd be curious john 14. yeah john 14 28 right yeah so what does it say exactly i think it's the new world translation right yeah we have a new world translation you heard that I said to you, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you love me, you would rejoice in the joy of the Father, for the Father is greater than I. Mm -hmm. So, may I ask you a question? Yeah. So, when he says, uh, the Father is greater than I, what do you think the word greater means? That, that means what to you? Yeah, the greatest. Just like Jehovah created Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's why they call first God. Yes. So the one who created is the one who created. Yes. And that's what we are. Are um, that's what we believe that because Jesus Jehovah is created. That's why they call first God yeah. of God's creation. Yes. So the one who created Jesus Christ is greater than Jesus Christ. That's why we don't believe in Trinity. Right. So because it uses the word greater there, that Creation. would have... Yeah. Created. Yeah, that would imply that, right? Yeah. So would you mind reading, I think it's John 14, verse 12. John 14, 12. So what is your implying? Why? Why, you, why we have to read that? Well, what's your reason you'll hear? Oops, sorry. What does 14, 12 say? I'm just asking. John 14, 12. Most truly I say to you, whoever exercises faith in me will also do the works that I do, and he will do works greater than these, because I'm going my way to the Father. So there has the word greater. It says the disciples will do, do disciples will do greater works than Jesus. Yes. Richard so would, so would that mean that the disciples are greater than Jesus because they do greater works based no. on what you said? No. See, Jesus Christ, when she was here on earth, he did three, three and a half years preaching work. Sure. Yeah. And he says that in, in uh, Matthew that you will do the greater things because Jesus Christ didn't preach the whole earth, only in that point. Right. Of one from, from, from 33 CE be after he, before he went to heaven. Sure. So he gave that and, and also he gave that commission to the apostle because they will stay here on earth sure. and have that greater preaching work. To right. Do. So that's why Jesus said, you will do the greater things because I'm be in heaven and I can do that to preach the whole earth. And, you know, and that's what means. So greater in that context yeah, is implied is because the they're going to be work. doing more. Yeah. Yeah. So could it be possible that when Jesus says, I go to the Father, for he's greater than I, mm -hmm. that maybe he was talking about positionally 
And because remember in John 17, Jesus said in verse 5, Father, glorify me mm-hmm. with the glory yeah. which I had with you before. Because I think me, you guys would have the same kind of view. Jesus pre-existed. He did. And then when he came to this world, he became like us, like took on flesh. Yeah. So the Father in the heavenly realm was glorified yeah. where Jesus came to this world and took on limitations. So, if I remember correctly, in John 14, he's telling his disciples, I'm going to go away, don't you worry. I'm going to send you a comforter. I I will come back to you, but I'm going to the Father, for he's greater. If we can understand the word greater in verse 12, not to mean, like, greater in regards to, like, quality, but, like, maybe in regards to what was going to be done, couldn't the same also apply to Jesus in John 14, 28? Well... I wonder Do you at least to... understand where I'm coming from on that? Okay. Um, I, I, what, can you read that scripture? What is it? What, what did you say? Which one? John 14. 14, 12. 14, 12. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And just a side note, mm-hmm. in John 14, 9, the disciples were, if I remember correctly, were talking to Jesus, and he says, if you've seen me, you see me the you've seen the Father. So... Yeah. From my perspective, when I read the scripture, Jesus came to reveal the Father to the world. And like you mentioned earlier about the firstborn, that same verse says he is the, Colossians 1.15, mm-hmm. he is the image of the, of the invisible God. God. He's not a copy or a shadow. This is the image so of when, God. So Just when like Jesus, when, when, when we said that we are created in God's image. Yeah. yeah. What does that mean to you? Well, let me just ask, answer, finish what I was trying to say. Uh-huh. Just at least, at least know where I was trying to okay, share before. Sure. All right. So when Jesus comes to the earth, mm-hmm. and he says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Mm-hmm. This is where I believe he would be, biblically speaking, God come in the flesh, but he's not the Father. He's a distinct person from the Father. He's and a different when he, person. Different person, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Just like how we are different people, right? Yeah. Yeah. But we are by nature yeah. humans. Yeah, right? right like me and you there's no difference like you're not better than me i'm not better than you no. we're humans yeah. jesus having the pre-existence mm-hmm. right comes in this world but for a time like philippians 2 talks about he, become like a human. he becomes like a human so in john 14 28 for us, yeah. i believe what he's saying is the word greater is not implying that he's not God, he's saying, Father, I'm going back to you. He's greater because he's still in a glorified state. And then just a few chapters later, You're right there. and a yeah. few chapters later, he says, Father, glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world was. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I want to. Yes, go ahead. Thank you for letting me at least share, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very, I, I, I very you. interesting. I respect you. Okay, he says uh, in uh, Matthew 28 18. Yes. And this is Jesus talking. He said, Jesus approached and spoke to, to them, saying, All authority has been given me in heaven and on earth. So go therefore and make disciples and people of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. So here again, if Jesus Christ is the same as the God, that is Father. By nature, yes. Why is that God's given me right. That's the a good question. Yeah. That's a good question. Mm-hmm. So, so who, who go ahead. sorry. No good. Take who, your time. If you if if you give someone authority. Yes. Meaning you are a higher yes. than the one that did that. Sure. So sure. that's what we come out that we, we don't believe in anything. No, I get that. Yeah. I can understand that point where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. In that verse, um, we read all the way to 1920, right? Yeah. So when we're baptized, yeah. we're not baptized in, just in the name of the Father. There's the Father, the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit yeah. which actually points to the Trinity, even though I know you don't believe that. Um, what's, what's interesting, though, is if you were to look up this, maybe when you get a chance, I've done a little bit of Greek. I'm not, I'm by far not a Greek scholar. But I've studied, <laughs> we're not some, I've studied yeah. some Greek. So you could do your own research on this. Mm-hmm. Uh, when it talks about the name of, the Greek word for name there is the word oma. 
which has the representation of authority, yeah. of equality. So in other words, name of father, just like, son, yeah, like Holy you're Spirit. Giving that, yeah. So it's, it's talking about equality, not like one above and less and all that. This is pointing to all, all three, if you will. Oh, I see. But to what you asked, though, is verse 18, though, right? You're talking about given, right? Jehovah given, given. Jesus Christ the authority. Right, right. So that's why Jesus Christ has authority for us sure. to give that permission to go oh, in there. Yeah. 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 So are you talking about the Jesus Christ and, and Father and Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is not a person. From where you're coming from? Right. It's not a person. Yeah. I we have we have a spirit. We have a power. Yes. We we move. We we do things. We create. That is our yeah. power. Right. But Holy Spirit of Jehovah, that the one who created the whole thing, yes. that is His, his, his power to yeah. do creating things. So, so the was Holy the... Spirit here is God's power that they giving us the, that commission to go and preach. Him. Right. Yeah. And I that's what you. we are doing it because that's what we follow that commission. I hear you. Yeah. So yeah. when it talks about given, just to kind of, you were asking the question. So prior to Jesus, and I'm glad we're talking, keeping each other warm, right? Because it is a little yeah. chilly out here, right? Yeah. Um, it is a little chilly, a little chillier than normal. Um, you have so many questions. Well, I, Did you study I, I, the I, Bible before? I, well, yes. I've been a Christian for many years. So, wow. Yeah, 46 years. Yes. We, uh, twice a, a, a week, we, yes. we study the Bible. Even nice, even. nice. Yeah. And we have our own study like a worship night yeah. together with our friends. Yes. I do my own research yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. And we read the Bible every day. That's good. And we pray. Yes. yes. Also that so we can have that guidance and Holy Spirit that we can do yes. this work that we need. Absolutely. Yeah. So the yeah. quick quick response on just sure. what you said on the given part. It kinda goes back to what I was at least where I'm coming from. Yeah. Jesus had some kind of equality with the Father prior set aside his glory for a time and then now being resurrected the father says it's given back you. right so, so for a time he was under complete submission to the father which I think we have the, on. the given part is just more of a, a declarative statement from people to disciples he's in charge that's kind of how I would look at it. yeah and uh, also just like you know when we pray gets Yes, Matthew 6, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the thing that God said. When you, when you say God's kingdom, and Jesus is the, Jesus is the, that uh, giving that authority to king of God's kingdom. Sure. Yeah. So you can see, the kingdom of Jesus Christ is not his, it's of God. So well, you see that you see here. True, but he, but king he, but God's there's also times Jesus well, says, yeah. "My kingdom." He also says, so "My what, kingdom." So what many does times that too. means to you when you say, when I, see, you say that? Yeah. Jesus Christ is the King of God's kingdom. Mm. Jesus Christ is the King of God's kingdom. Sounds nice. I don't know the verse that actually says it like that. Though, you oh, know yeah. what I mean? It says in the Bible. There's a verse that actually says Jesus is the King, king of, of God's, God's kingdom. kingdom. The exact word. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. So what does that mean to you? I don't know. I don't know if I've heard it like that before, so I can't oh, say. Oh, yeah. It's in, it's in the Bible. Okay. So, so when so you pray, literally the exact God's words, kingdom to Jesus come. is the King of, of God's, God's kingdom. kingdom. Yeah. Interesting. What verse says that? We'll find out. <laughs> okay. You're going to teach me something on this one here. I'm curious. You got me curious now. Yeah. So so when we when we pray for that God's kingdom. Yes. And that's what I mean. Yes. And that's why he said, go therefore. So he has that authority and he is our king yes. of God's kingdom. Because well, God's I, well, kingdom, well, okay, so, the kingdom of God sure, is sure. not only sure. here on earth. Sure. No, I would agree with you. Yes. So if, if, if that's exactly how it's worded in the Bible, I haven't, I mean, it could be this Bible translation that could be right. I haven't heard it worded that All way. Right. I'll, I'll, I'm not saying anything against what you said. So if Jesus is a king of God's, of God's kingdom, kingdom. Mm -hmm. which we know God is speaking about the Father, right? Mm -hmm. Then in, where I'd be coming from, I have no problem with that, even as a Trinitarian, because 
Just like I'm assuming you're married and you probably have a wonderful <laughs> husband, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a widow. <laughs> oh, but you were for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, did you have a good husband? Yeah. I have. Okay, I don't want to be too personal, right? I'm married. I've been married for 23 years. Oh, were you married? Okay. So, as a husband and wife, I'm hoping I'm not stepping on any toes on this one, okay? But, biblically speaking, you're one. That's right. Right? Equality. No, but let me finish. Equality. Yes. But, in the home, the, the husband is the head. That's right. Positionally, there's roles, Definitely. but still equality. Definitely. Correct? Yeah. Same no, thing. I same. didn't mean that equality, but because the, well, the husband, the wife is. But the Bible says you two are. Yeah, true. But, but, the but you two are still one. The Bible says you're one. That's right. Right? Yeah. So even though there are positionally um, roles, yes. there's still equality. Right. In other words, and you are correct. Yes, uh, still but with yes, one another, absolutely, absolutely. You're not a doormat, yeah. right? No. You're not. You're not. Um, but we have. I, I, I want to ask. You. Can I? I wanna... Let me. Let, okay, I was, okay, was going to okay, respond to what you said, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, in regards to, and yeah, feel welcome if you want to sit back down or whatever. You <laughs> like. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to start like, probably doing like an old movie called Footloose here. I'm starting to get a little chilly. Um, so yes, I understand where you're coming from. Roles, right? The rules. So. Just like I was mentioned a minute ago, we, as creation, I think anyway, yeah, we, are, we are amongst each other all the same kind of nature. Yes. Jesus, he says he's one with the Father, like John 10, 30, I and my Father, we are one. There's other times where... Um, I just want to ask you some question about that one. Sure. I actually had a question on the Holy Spirit. Can I actually... I don't want to oh, go too far. I, okay, I, I don't okay. want to get okay. sidetracked. I have right. a question on the Holy Spirit. Because you made a comment, and I don't want to be in any way rude. So if I ever sound like I'm getting rude, please just say, Kelly, you're being rude. Um, you made a comment that the Holy Spirit's not a person. If I showed you at least one verse, or at least a couple verses in the same text, that might be worth consideration, would you at least be willing to check it out? Or at least get try to answer it right now? It's Acts 13. Who wouldn't mind going to it? I'll, I'll let you read it. I'll ask one simple question, and I'll get your thoughts. Okay, that's the scripture says that you will worship me with spirit and truth. John four twenty four. So what does that mean, Steve? Sure. Spirit and truth. Give me one second, come back to that. I want her to read the Acts thirteen. Well, real quick. you know what? We are here not to really showing you. Oh no, you're doing right and you're, wrong. Oh, but you're doing. Really? I love it. You're sharing. You're sharing these things for me. I like it. I I think what you're doing with me right now, taking the time to talk to me, I respect that. I was just walking by and yeah. noticed you and like, this hey, is, why not say very, hi to these yeah. couple of nice now ladies? Now you learn something about yes. it. Yes, yes, yes. And what you want to do with this? Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, study. Go to the Bible. That's Go right. home and read it, right? Yeah. So are you in Acts 13? Yes. Would you mind reading verses 2, I believe, through 4, I think it is? Sure. Thank you. As they were ministering to Jehovah and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set aside for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. And after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So these men were men sent out by the Holy Spirit went down to Seleucia from where they were. So verse 2, if I remember correctly the way you worded it there, who was Barnabas and Saul set apart by? Yeah. And does it say that the Holy Spirit called That's them? The power. It, what the says, power. does it say I and me in those verses there? In your translation? In 13.2, it says set apart for the work which I have called them. Can you read it again? Sorry. Set aside for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called yes. them. Yes. So set apart for me, the Holy Spirit, for the work which I, the Holy Spirit, have called them. So okay. let me ask you a question. So, so, so how could a non-personal, I think it's called active force? Yes. An active force. How could something like that specifically call people into ministry and say, I and me? I just thought of you. If I said to you right now, follow me, I just said, I and me, what would that imply? 
Well, you said you're talking about if I said, spirit, the if, spirit in you is one. Right. But if I, said, I know, I know what you're coming from. Right. So in other words, through. the verse but says. But we have to remember that Holy Spirit is an active force. So that's where and you're Jehovah, coming from. And Jehovah I know. is giving that Holy Spirit to act them in the way that wants I get that. I do. I'm not trying anyway to come against what you're saying. That's where you're from. Your and whenever you, whenever you, whenever you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, yeah. active force. Yeah. Is a you know the word active force finger. is not even in the Bible. Just like how the word training is not in the Bible. So it's a view that you. It's have. active force. I right? mean. Like there's, our energy. I know, but there's no words that says active well, force uh, in the Bible, right? Yeah, well, you agree but that, with that is, right? Yeah, right. The, yeah, I, 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 it's so, not really direct, but that's that, that's what it's meaning. Right. So let me it's ask you a question force. on it's, it's, just on verse two. Spirit. On verse two, though, who is the one that called Barnabas and Saul to ministry? Was it the Holy Spirit? Yes or no? It's Jesus Christ. But it says the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is God's to act in the way. Okay. You see, it's a least, guidance. It's, you, it's, 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 it's a power because, you know, when, if I do and do just myself and without any guidance and oh, help. Hi. Hi. Sorry, Spirit. I'm not eavesdropping. I just couldn't help but overhear the conversation. I oh. Just, yeah, just wanted to come. Come on over. Um, just with regard to that. Uh, are you with them? That, yes. I'm, oh. yeah, I'm friends with them. Oh, yeah. what's your name? Jennifer. Hi, yeah. Jennifer. What's I'm Kelly. Nice to meet you, Nice Kelly. to meet you, yeah. Jennifer. Just with regard to that one yes. specific. Um, Acts 13 too. Yeah, yep. with, with the Holy Spirit sure. speaking. Yes. So I like to think of an illustration. Yes. If you think of a, a CEO who wants to put out a memo to um, his employees, right. um, he would use his secretary to put his words into writing, correct? Right. Right. So once that memo goes out, the memo's not from the secretary, it's from the CEO. Okay. Right? So the Holy Spirit is what God uses to direct the gospel on the earth. It's what he used in Jesus' time. It's what he uses now. The Holy Spirit doesn't speak. It's not it's not anything that's tangible. It's what God uses. Just in the same way that a CEO would use a secretary to let his thoughts and his intentions be known. Right. That's how God uses the Holy Spirit. In so that I would same way. What was your name, Jennifer? Jennifer, yeah. So I respect you very much. And I know I've been talking for quite a bit. Oh, okay. It's really nice. <laughs> yeah. I've really enjoyed it. Here, so. <laughs> um, and I'm, I've been a Christian for 46 years. Okay. And so I'm 52 now. And I know the Bible a little bit, so I'm not trying to anyway mm -hmm. hide anything at yeah. all. So in that verse, when we were talking about it, it literally says the Holy Spirit said. Yeah. And then it literally says they were sent out by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And it says, for the work which I mm -hmm. have called them. Mm -hmm. So even though what you said about a secretary would mm -hmm. have application, but in this context, right. it wouldn't. Because this, this is literally of that conversation. He, the Holy Spirit is the CEO in this conversation. He is the one that actually speaks to Barnabas and Saul. Mm -hmm. And he says, set apart for me the work which I mm -hmm. have called them. Right. So there's no secretary involved right. in this situation. So how I would view that... Like I have sent, I I would view that as the memo okay. that's been submitted. All right, but you lose me when I'm reading. I see verse, where you're coming from. Yep, absolutely, yeah. I mean, absolutely. We want to be Bereans, and, right? Yep, right. For sure. Right. And the way that I don't know if you know much about us, we are Bible students. So we I spend, actually do know a little bit. I don't yeah, want to lie, we right? Spend, I've talked to witnesses before. This yeah. is not my first time, and I was just walking by yeah. and saw these nice ladies. They were kind of yeah. sitting, <laughs> and I figured, you know what? I'll come over and say hi. Yeah, you for know? sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So. But yeah, so we're, we're Bible students, so we do study the Bible. We spend yes. the majority of our lives and studying the scriptures much respect because we want to ensure that what we do, what we teach others sure. from the Bible. Always is accurate yes. so everything that we is using all of the scriptures sure. together sure. because you need context right to ha to get anything right it needs yep. to be in yep. the context yep. a lot of people will misuse and misapply scriptures but yep. when you read the surrounding verses yep. you see oh 
when you look at the context, yep. that's not how that applies. Well, right? that was when I asked so, him. I asked him to read actually verses two mm -hmm, through four, exactly. not just a little verse. Yeah. yeah. And when you actually see verse four, it actually says they were actually sent out by mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so what I what I will do, what I will do later today yeah, is I will good. take that verse and I will do more research and yeah. I will look at other scriptures to see, okay, how does that apply? Because yeah. for me, because we truly believe that Jehovah, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are three separate things. Jesus even said when he was on earth, he was God's son. Yeah. And, you know, when he hands over the kingdom, yeah. he's going to hand it over to his father. Did talk about right? yeah. yeah. So yeah. when we take all of those things into consideration, then that sure. those verses in Acts start to make a lot more sense yeah. in line with how we understand the Bible. Well... Are you now, are you coming to replace anybody right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to okay. let one of them take a break. <laughs> Do you want to give me a contact information where I can yeah, follow have, up with you guys? Um, we have, yeah. and, uh, the one that we, we talk about get skin done. Yes, what yeah. verse was that? Jesus Christ. What verse was that? Yeah, what verse was that? Did you find it? Not <laughs> that. Kingdom. Yeah, but because we pray all yeah. the time. Yes. God's kingdom. Oh, I, oh yes, yeah. that's it. So yeah. I just want to remember Jennifer. Yep. Benilda. Benil, Benilda. Yeah. Is that Filipino? Yes. Awesome. And then Rachel. Rachel. What a pleasure talking all three. <laughs> Thank you for coming in, Jennifer. Yeah. Yes. Um, does anyone have a pen? Yeah, like an email yeah, or I'll whatever. Yeah, I'll write my email on here. Let's yeah. just start contact. That would be awesome. Right to the hey, my name's Kelly, too, so when I reach Kelly, out to you later. My mom's name is Kelly. I will remember that awesome. for sure. So I'm just going to write my email address on here. It's, yeah. it's a longer one. And if I may, may I take one of these one of these magazines from you here? Is this a current one, I'm going to guess? This is the one. I do read is. these and check them out, so I appreciate that. Special word is here. Amen. And this is associated with this. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, it's a very, it says the end of the word is near. Awesome. Um, I will definitely. And we have, we have this in Mexico. Oh, oh yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Hello. So this is all my email. So it's reply to dot. Jennifer Lee. That's the uh, whole thing? Yeah, reply to dot Jennifer Lee. Wow. Email. Okay. I know, that's, it's a long that's one. Fun. It doesn't all fit in one line. Awesome. <laughs> this one is introductory Bible lesson. Okay. And you can go to our website and download it. And there's quite a few videos. Yeah, I've actually been to jw.org, so uh, yeah. I, I'm a little bit you familiar with it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And forget the name of the I am Kelly. 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 Yes. Yes. Kelly. All right. So I'm going to share with anyone today. Uh, I need to find, yeah, she walked somewhere oh. earlier. And I'll find her in a little bit. But anyway, <laughs> such a joy. Yeah, so, yeah. Jennifer? Jen Kelly, nice yes. to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, Rachel. Yes. Nice Have a you. wonderful rest of your day. You too. And, and if I'm in the area again, I'll make sure I come say hi to you. Yes, and I will absolutely. definitely reach out to you in the email and feel welcome to respond whenever you can. Yeah, I love that. All right. Yeah, we'll awesome. Be blessed. Have a, re yeah. Yeah. Have a good rest yeah. of your day. You too. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, that went really good. That went really good. Jennifer came in the last minute there to take over. And, uh, yeah, that went great. Good stuff. Pray for Jennifer and Belinda. I forgot the other girl's name. But uh, was out and about. Saw them. So keep them in prayer. Amen. Hope this was a blessing to you guys out there. Thank you very much. Let me know your thoughts. Talk to you later. Lord bless.